The run only got a yard. Here's second and nine. Ultra, ultra. They'll try the middle with Montgomery. And he'll get this one down to about the 17. Only gets three yards there on the heels of the one-yard pickup. Sets up third and six. Not a whole lot there. The defense was ready, it looked, for that run-pass option. You get the sense the next time he has that opportunity, he may keep it himself and get to the perimeter. Probably owes his back a little bit of an apology on that one, huh? They haven't made much of this great starting field position they had. Here's third and six. He'll drop to throw. This to Pitts, and he's got him. Touchdown, Atlanta. Kyle Pitts from 17 yards out. And the Falcons are on the board here first in the season opener. And his kick is no good. An inauspicious start here kicking-wise as this one stays a 6-0 game. Now he's back out there to boom this one away, maybe with some frustration after the PAT miss. From the end zone, it's strong. And beyond the 20, but not by much. In fact, just a yard pass there to the 21. The Texans offense ready to go here for their next drive. As this offense gets ready here for this drive, Charles, you, you still wonder about that prior drive. Went for it on fourth down in their own territory, didn't get it, and then that led to a touchdown on the other side. And I don't mind the aggressiveness. And he fires one that's intercepted. Picked off by Casey Hayward. And the Falcons are going to take possession of the football. And the rookie QB gets his first touchdown pass. That's one you put in the trophy case. First career interception. That's going to be one he wants to forget. Yeah, and he's not going to go ask for the football, right? No. Yeah, you can keep that one. The key for him, what does he learn from it? When he watches the tape, does he have an answer right now where he already understands what mistake he made? That's what the coaches are going to want to know, and that's what they'll grill him on and see how he grows from it. Now again, running right is Montgomery. And not a whole lot of room to operate there on the first down run. He gets maybe three. Well, they held him to a short gain on that one, and it almost felt like on that first run, they were trying to just throw the jab at him. So how do you stop a jab? Get closer and smother it, just as they did on that last play. The last run got three. Now here's second and seven. Montgomery on the counter. And he is going to lose yardage here. Now they're staring at a third and eight. That last play backwards a yard. Well, that was not what you would call straight line pursuit for a middle linebacker to make this play. He's got to work his way through the clutter to get to the ball carrier on the outside, and he does exactly that. That's called avoiding the trash. Well, good field position to start the drive, but under the gun now here on third and eight. Connect for the touchdown. So on fourth down, Ritter heads to the sideline. Young Way Koo gets set for the Atlanta field goal. From the left hash, this will be a 41 yarder. Koo knocks this one through the post. And that will make this a nine point lead. 
So the interception set him up a terrific field position, but three points the end result. Yeah, we can make this one pretty simple, partner. You always want to end drives with points, but that's one that you're going to look back on and probably say we should have done better there. From the end zone, it's strong. And they'll get him down right around the 25, actually the 26 officially, so a net gain of one there. The Texans offense ready to go here for their next drive. And for this offense, Charles, you got to think kind of crucial here to put something together on this drive because remember last time out, they threw the interception on the very first play. And you can't afford to let this defense keep building any more momentum. They're playing awfully well, and they're awfully confident right now. To me, it's time to attack and take some of that momentum back. But make sure you're selective in doing so. Understand where you want to throw the football and make sure it's open before the ball leaves your hands. Here's a throw to his running back. It's complete. And give him six yards here as he's stopped near the 35 at the 34. They'll try to pick this up on the ground with Breida. No gain on the play there. A nice job defensively. And it likely forces a punt situation on fourth. Fourth and short, partner. I mean, this would be a really risky call. Here we are in the first quarter. On They're your own side of the own field. On side of the field. But, boy, what a tone setter that would be to go for it and get it, wouldn't it? You're gritty today. I like it. I'm feeling it. try and throw this one taken in by the former Baylor Bear Jalen Hurd and he is going to have a Texans first down as they manage to convert and that'll keep the drive alive both sides were holding their breath there on that fourth down play and the offense can breathe a sigh of relief and both knew exactly where the first down markers were. You know the defense is trying to guard those sticks and try and keep people in front, but somehow, some way, those guys found a way to pick it up. Set, ready, set, more steel. On first down, here's Breida. And the play goes nowhere. Losing yardage back near the 40 at the 39. They'll have to deal with a second and 14 now after the loss. Back to throw. Elliott. And this one is incomplete. They've given some different looks here defensively in the early going. He's only hit two of his first five passes. With a big third down coming up, he's hoping he's got a play dialed up that can take advantage of whatever the defense throws at him. Seventh play of this game coming up. from the gun. Elliott to the sideline and that is a heck of a catch as he was able to get both feet in. They do get 12 but they'll be marked short and that leads to a fourth down. Now that's going to be a tough one to explain when they get together and watch the game film, isn't it? I mean, they had the right call, had the out route. He's got to know where the first down sticks are, yet he steps out of bounds that close. Not their best play. Here we go, back, green back. On fourth down, Elliott. He's going to have his running back. It's complete. And they're going to get this down to about the 37. A gutsy call. Turns out to be a good one, though. First down on a pickup of 11. After one, it's 9 nothing.
So the fourth down conversion has him inside the 40 now, first and 10. scrimmage just no cutback lane to be found whatsoever second and ten wow that ball gets knocked free but a teammate comes along and scoops it up almost like it's almost like baseball guys at bat people are on base in scoring position one guy doesn't get them home the next guy comes through and picks him up and avoids the turnover on second down a run with Greta. And he'll be taken down at the 33, a pickup of about four. Well, they certainly had success throwing the ball in this drive, and not as much running as we just saw once again on that last play. Stopped after a very short game. But I wouldn't abandon the run totally, because otherwise, pass rush is just too hard for your quarterback. It makes it very, very difficult for him in that situation. The offense on third down, 0 for 3 to this point. They could use a conversion. This will be third and five. The pitch out to Breda. There he goes, right side. Touchdown, Houston. Matt Breda, 33 yards. And the Texans have cut it back within a score. Fairbairn good with the extra point. And the lead is down to two. So after the touchdown, here's Fairbairn now to kick it away. And he'll get credit for putting him inside the 20 as the fair catch is made right at about the 19-yard line. set to begin their next drive the Falcons right. offense at the line right. and they're not going to play this conservative I don't think they had the field goal last time and they're up but they're looking to put a drive in the end zone right. oh I agree with you totally no one is, goes out on the field and says all right let's just settle for three except in certain situations trying to ice a game that sort of deal most of the time it's end zone and that's what you're thinking and I believe that's exactly what they're thinking as they begin this one yeah no quarterback ever goes out there saying hey let's get three right <laughs> not one that I've ever met eight yards the gain on that last run here's second and a couple before he's out of bounds. Second and two is prime time for a little bit of a gamble, isn't it? Open up the playbook, go play action, toss that bad boy deep. But in this situation, go ahead and give it to your back. Let him pick up a first down, keep the sticks moving. Let's go now. So first and 10 now from the 30. Tackled just past the 35 at the 36. Five yards on the carry. Good pickup on first down. Brandon, five yards on that run. Let's get back to the huddle and make sure if you're a back, you spend time with your offensive line and give them credit. Hard to move those 300 plus Ready. pounders at the line of scrimmage, and they did for a significant chunk of yardage. Ready? Now they'll switch it up here and look to throw. And that'll fall incomplete. He was hit just as he let that go. 
And now it's third down. It's always tough trying to keep your guy upright when he's trying to throw the football. When you're dealing with those big, bad guys on the defensive front, it's even tougher. And this time, those guys on the opposite side won the battle, getting to the quarterback and knocking him into an incompletion. They come up now third and five following the incomplete pass. And they'll bring the big tight end across the formation left. Out of the gun now on third down. That complete to Drake London. And he's going to have a Falcons first down by about three yards or so as they wind up getting seven there on third and four. And Brandon, from our time in college football, where receivers weren't running the traditional NFL route tree, one thing they did learn, Here we go. find Here open we go. areas, find soft spots, and set up and catch the ball. And I think we just saw that there. Yeah, we saw that indeed picking up the first. Now on first down, he'll drop to throw it. Dancing to his left. And that is incomplete. Oh, the coverage a little too good there. And it's second down. He did a fine job there of not hitting him before the ball arrived. And I've got to tell you, you can often mistime that play because of the angles of approach. When you're going to get him, sometimes you panic as well and think, I've got to be there right now. Instead, in this case, timed it perfectly and knocked it free. They'll stick with the passing game as he looks to throw. Looking left side, and he's got a man. That's Edwards. And he's able to get this to the 40-yard line before he's out of bounds. First catch of the new season for him, and he picks up the first. So many times in my career, I've heard coaches talk about completions are one thing. But as long as we're there at the catch and we get guys on the ground, we can live with that. But if you're going to give up 10, 12, 15 yards after the catch, then your defense is going to be in a lot of trouble. Again, he'll drop to throw. And that is knocked away in the middle of the field and incomplete. So it looks like they still have some fight in them on this series because it seemed like things were headed for the red zone. But if this defense gets two more stops, they can keep them out of that area. Okay, right. So second down and 10. Once again, they'll go from the 40. Now Montgomery running right. They do get a couple, but they'll be left staring at a third and eight coming up. Pretty good little two-play sequence there. You force the incompletion, then a very short pickup. Yeah, now maybe you bring in an extra defensive back or two because you want to try and defend on third down. They like to play those nickel or sub packages, don't they? Here we go. They'll need to get it to the 30 for a first. This is third down. They'll set up to throw. And a throw there going to be incomplete. And based on my math, they've only converted one time thus far in this game. So you can see the frustration starting to come out a little bit. Third downs, they've been a problem for them all game. They've got to start becoming solutions. Koo knocks this one through the post. And that will push the lead up to 12-7. So they're able to end that drive with three points in this one possession ball game. And ideally, you want to end every drive with points. Most quarterbacks would tell you, let's end it with a kick, right? A PAT, that's number one. Field goal you'll take. Punts, you really don't want to do that. In this case, they'll take the field goal and get prepared for the rest of the game. The coup just hit the field goal. Now he kicks off. From the end zone, it's strong. 
And he had no room to run as he's tackled down inside the 20. The Texans offense ready to go here for their next drive. The offense running out, and they are charged up, ready to go after reaching the end zone on their last drive. And normally I'd warn against getting complacent just because they scored the last time out. But I don't think there's any worries with this group right now. This is a hungry group, and they want to keep building off of their last drive. Now they just want the officials to hurry up and place the ball so they can snap it and get back to work. Here's second and nine, just a yard on that last run. They stay on the ground. Again, it's Breda. And he's going to get this one across the 30-yard line. 50 yards rushing for him in this first half as he is looking in mid-season form here in the opener. For a lot of guys playing this game, there's no better feeling than running right through a tackle. He's able to lower his center of gravity and churn his legs for a really nice pickup. So they'll come up first and 10 now from the 33. Ten cycle. Steel. Jack Steel. Jack Rack. Jack Rack. Ready. Off the play fake. Elliott. He's going to air one out. Into a double team and it's intercepted. Picked up by Josh Jones. And the Falcons are going to take over once again at their own 25 yard line. This is what you would call a growing pains here, Parker, because this defense obviously took the challenge facing the rookie. They wanted to help indoctrinate him to the NFL. So now the big question is, can he answer that challenge and rebound with plenty of time remaining in this game? The Atlanta offense out there for their next drive. It was still more than a minute to go in the half. Time to try to mount a drive. And I would think that they would have to. This is today's NFL. you got to push it whenever you get an opportunity. You can never have enough points with the high-powered offenses that you face. And analytics will tell you, try and score when given the opportunity. And just in general, Charles, on a play like that, how tough is it for the defense to account for a running back essentially being a receiver downfield? It's very difficult, especially if the running back has skills like a receiver, and you're aware of that before the game even begins. So throughout your practice sessions, you're going to want to be aware of him. Where is he lining up? What can he do? What kind of damage can he do to us downfield? And who can match up with him? without weakening our overall defense. You're exactly right. It's a tough task to match up to him. Not too many more ideal situations in second and two in order to try and pick up a first down. They ran it and picked on, it up. They'll bring a receiver in motion right. They'll look to throw now on first down. That's into the hands of Edwards. And he'll take this to the other side of midfield before going out of bounds. It's a gain of 16, first down Falcons. Well, that certainly has to feel good. It's not all the time that the play caller should get all the credit. Sometimes I think in the huddle, the quarterback just says, hey, who's going to make a play for me? I just need something right here. And the end result there, Nice first down. Drive keeps moving. They'll look to throw here on first down. Oh, he's going to let this go for the end zone. And that is incomplete. Well, they've been back on their heels a little bit here on this drive, but a chance to exhale just a little bit there with incompletion on first down. Now they have to gear up, try and get two more stops, and escape this drive. So now second and ten after the incompletion on first down. Back 
to throw here. And this will be caught by Edwards. And he's going to be taken down with another first down as the stop's made at the Texans 33. The Falcon passing game looking good on this drive as they get the first down. Here's second and ten. Back to throw again. Throw left side. There's London. And they'll have it in the red zone before he crosses over out of bounds. Seems as if the passing attack starting to heat up a little bit here in the second quarter. You can sense and you can see the momentum because now they're reading their patterns downfield, they're understanding the coverages, and they're finding the open holes in the defense. So with four seconds to go in the half, here's the field goal unit onto the field. Two knocks this one through the post. And that now makes this a 15-7 game. Well, they already had the early lead, and they get the interception. Charles and I have three more with the field goal. Yeah, they're in control of how this game is playing out so far. You mentioned the early lead. Now they're expanding on it, getting plays on both sides of the ball. A winning recipe. And a mistake on the lateral. It's a loose ball. So we've reached halftime here on opening weekend. As we'll send you down to Orlando, we check in with Jonathan Coachman for our EA Sports Halftime Report. Coach. Welcome back. Halftime over. We are ready for quarter number three. Alongside Charles Davis, I'm Brandon Gordon. We'll see if week one fatigue becomes any kind of a factor as we are back underway in the second half. From the six. And he doesn't even get this to the ten. He's taken down at the nine. About set to begin their next drive. The Falcons offense at the line. They got the ball now following a big play, keeping the other guys out of the end zone. Now they'll start deep in their own territory, first and 10. And he's going to get a solid gain of nine before being brought down, second and right at a yard. And there we saw one of the downsides of blitzing during a rundown because sometimes you get out of your gaps. You don't fit the run quite as well because you're headed towards the ball carrier with abandon. Back to Montgomery on second down. And he works it across the 25 before being tackled. 43 yards rushing for him now on what was his 10th carry of the ball game. Well, you certainly have to give a little credit here because they're playing this game now at their pace. This is ball control football, sustained runs, taking their time and making it work. Back-to-back -back good plays have them on the move on first down. Hey, don't fear it. First and ten, it's Patterson. A short gain here, maybe a yard to the 29. No doubt about it, a really nice job there by the defense, not allowing him to get to the perimeter. But that means your defensive ends, your outside linebackers, the guys that you pay big money to to sack the quarterback, they also have to have interest in the running game as well. And they did a nice job there of holding the point of attack and not giving ground. Strike. Check. Strike. 
On second down, Montgomery. And he'll scratch out a yard up to the 30, and that's all. Defensively, we always know that he is tough in run support, and I think the way that he gets there is he understands what an offense is going to do before the ball's even snapped. A great job of scouting prior to the game, then reading, reacting, and taking the right path to the ball carrier. They'll be in search of eight yards here as they hope to convert the first down. On third down, he'll drop to throw. To the sideline, he's got the catch, and he kept the feet in bounds. Well done. It's a first down, his fourth catch of the game after having three in the first half. It's Edwards again. And he'll lose yardage on the play back at the 37-yard line. But despite the completion, they're going to wind up losing three there. Second down. They completed the screen on the perimeter, but boy, that was textbook defense. Exactly as you're taught to play against a wide receiver screen, and they snuffed it out for a loss of yardage. After the loss, they'll come up second and 13. Looking to throw. And caught by London. That will go as a pickup of seven on the seventh play of the drive. So it's third and six, and this will be the eighth play of the drive. They'll look to throw again. And he'll be tackled on the other side of midfield at the 46-yard line. They were looking to throw, holding on the big right tackle. That's real simple, partner. Keep your hands inside in the chest area. You're probably okay. You get it out on the shoulders, get them wide. Usually going to pick up a holding call. So following the holding call, what can they do here on third and long? They'll set up a throw. Oh, it's a screen pass. That's complete. And he'll bring it up here to right at the 40-yard line. Five yards, not enough, and it'll be fourth down. And that's a play that's not uncommon on third and long because the offense is just hoping that somehow they can get a guy in space and follow some blockers downfield. Does a pretty nice job there getting a few yards, but he ends up getting stopped before he can get the first down. And nine yards there on the return following a punt of 47. And the Texans will take over with a first and 10. The Texans offense ready to go here for their next drive. And here we are almost through three quarters of play, and this passing game still has not really found any kind of rhythm. Put it mildly, because they're not even over 100 yards yet. And in today's NFL, where it's a pass-first league, that is quite surprising. Not many teams patient enough to stick with the run. Everybody wants to advance the ball through the air. They've got to get their timing back. Second and ten, third quarter of the season opener. That flag accepted, and it backs the offense up a little bit. After the delay of game, they're operating behind the stick, second and 15. Right 
Operating from the gun. Elliott. Catch is made by Hurd. That's a gain of 11. Would have been a first down if not for that penalty moments ago. Another completion there. And when we think back to the draft in the spring, this franchise essentially handing him the keys to the operation, a top five pick. Charles, how ready do you think he is? I think he's ready for the NFL in terms of size, speed, the makeup of him, the character of him. The key is going to be, will this team accept everything he brings to the game and adapt to it? not just necessarily plug him into something that he doesn't do well. Hurry. On third down, a run from Breida. And he'll take this one up close to the 25-yard line. Just a one-yard gain on the play, and that'll mean a call to the punt team as it's fourth down. Well, this was just simply excellent defense. On this third down, they had to be alert for the possibility of a pass, but that didn't stop them at all from understanding what was going on when they decided to run the football, and they just swarmed and stopped them for almost no gain. to be surprised by that, right? I, I definitely was surprised that they decided to go for it in this situation, but they must have either felt like they either had a great play call on or they're trying to show extreme confidence. So a moment to catch our collective breath after the fourth down conversion. We'll return with more after this. You're watching the NFL on EA Sports. rushing for him now as he has been tremendous all day long. Another carry for their leader and a good one. It's crunch time. They'll need him to continue to be productive in both the run and passing game in order for them to try and snatch a victory. Here we go. So how about Here we this go. for field position after the big play? Inside the 15 now as they come up on first and 10. From the red zone now, they'll look to throw. Got his tight end. That's complete. That's Jordan. Touchdown, Texans! Brevin Jordan from 13 yards out. And the Texans have a chance to tie things up as they trail by two here in the fourth. Well, we know someone just added to his touchdown passing total, but all he did was get the ball out quickly to his tight end and let him take care of business the rest of the way. Now they send the tight end in motion left. It's complete. And he will get into the end zone for two. And this game now tied here in the fourth. So here comes the kickoff now, all even here in this fourth quarter. And a fair catch signaled for and taken successfully. out there for their next drive. They no longer have the lead after that last touchdown, all tied up in the fourth quarter, and a chance for this offense to mount a potential game-winning drive right here. Hey, 
Slot man moves right. They'll try and start this drive in the air. And this is going to be intercepted. Picked up by Christian Harris. And the Texans are going to take possession of the football. That, Charles, the first interception he's thrown here in year number two. And I know it's just the first one, but didn't it feel like what we saw from him last year where he was plagued by this type of a play? And they thought that, you know, over the offseason, going into a second season, some of that would go away. Thus far, still looks a lot like his rookie year. And they go the wrong way here. Knocked back to the 20. A loss of a full three yards, and now it's second down. That's a play to take note of there for the defense. I think in the future, if you're going to try and block him, maybe you get a guard to help double-team him and try and steer him out of the play. They should have done it on that snap. Ready, set. A three-yard loss to start the drive. They'll look to make that up and then some on second and 13. Brita, he'll try the right side. And he's going to push his way down to about the 12. That's what they needed. It's an eight-yard gain and now third and four. So it doesn't look so bad. They've got to get close to your offensive line and the guy carrying the ball because they were in the second and long situation. It seemed pretty dire. And they brought it back to throw manageable with that run. Here we go. And this offense on third down today, just one for five to this point. This is third and four. Here's Breda. And he'll take this one in for a Texans touchdown. Matt Breda, already his second touchdown here in this opening weekend. And the Texans have broken this deadlock and have taken the lead here in the fourth. On for the PAT, Kaimi Fairbairn. And his kick is good, but flags come in. Looks like we're going to get a roughing call here on the follow-through. Trailing in the fourth this close of a game, that's a penalty you just can't afford. It's an absolute killer, and it's one that drives coaches and teammates insane. After the roughing penalty on the PAT, they'll kick off from 15 yards further upfield. And that one bounces out of the back of the end zone, so we'll start the drive at the 25 on the touchback. Got it. Just week one, but already plenty of intrigue with the games going on, and this one no different as we come up on a first and 10. Ready? Trying to shake off the interception from the last drive. He'll look to throw. Under pressure, and the Texans able to get in there for the sack. Finally hauled down for the first time this game. Multiple defenders in there to drop him. That sack doesn't change their offensive game plan. They always want to air it out and try and get the ball downfield quickly. They're going to have to block a little bit better, though, because the urgency and pressure just increase. Twice the distance now just to get a first down and one less down to try and get it. Ready, Under ready. four to go now as the clock runs and they come up on second down. Ready. They're going to look to throw. That'll be complete to Cook. So the completion Walk good for just three. Possibly a turning point. Big play coming. This is third and long. From the shotgun, he'll look to throw. And able to catch it on the left sideline, but they're going to rule him out of bounds. So it'll be incomplete, certainly one they'd like to have back as it brings up fourth down. It certainly didn't appear that that's where he wanted to go with the ball initially, so he tried to get something out of it by dumping it off to his running back unsuccessfully. Here we go, set. You, yellow. They'll bring the tight end in motion right here. And the tight end goes in motion left. 
As expected, they're going for it to keep the drive alive. Open man is Edwards. He's got it. And he is going to have a Falcons first down as they manage to convert. And that'll keep the drive alive. 21 yards there. A big play on fourth down. So signs of life in what's been a dormant offense in this second half. Here's first and ten. They'll look to throw. He's got his man, London, right side. And he's able to get this one out closer to midfield across the 45. A gain of eight there on the play. And that'll bring up a second down in just a couple. All that practice time came to fruition on that play. All those timing routes that they work on through training camp, OTAs, on, mini camp, back. and just regular season. They got it done on that one. An out cut, ball was delivered, and picked up the completion. Second and two. They'll set up the screen to Montgomery. And he'll be brought down inside the 40-yard line. I like the design that we're seeing right there. This is what they need. Down by a touchdown here in the fourth. They just need to keep working their way downfield. And when they see openings, take their shots. The drive continues as they search for a tying touchdown. Here's first and ten. They'll stick with the passing game as he looks to throw. Oh, that's going to be a costly one. It's intercepted. It's Bubba Bolden who picks it. And the Texans are going to have the football here at their own 35-yard line. Well, CD, I know it's just his second year in the league as a quarterback, but that's going to be one when he flips on the tape. He's like, ah, I shouldn't have thrown that ball. No doubt right. about it. And right. his coaching staff will be emphatic about he shouldn't have thrown that ball. But remember, second year, as you noted, on the job training. So he's got to take this feedback that he's getting, negative or otherwise, and turn it into positives moving forward. Whistles now in a timeout defensively. So a wise move as they'll use the first of their timeouts to force one more play before the two-minute warning. Got to figure now, after getting that turnover, they're just going to be happy to keep the ball on the ground, right? This is where covering the football, taking care of the ball, all right. the ball security terms that have ever been used, they come into play for the guys on offense right now. Just take care of it, and they've got a good chance of ending up winning this game. And he'll pick up about three there, up to the 43 fourth quarter down to the final two minutes and we've got a one score game this is third and two maybe the biggest play in this football game Brita they'll go up the middle and he is going to have the first down, and that is going to suck the life right out of this crowd. So fresh out of the two-minute warning, and here's another timeout taken with 1.55 remaining. No doubt those are the types of carries they're looking for here, Charles. They're leading the fourth quarter. This is when coaches that have a reliable running game, they breathe a little easier on the sideline. Yeah, they love the idea that they can take the air out of the football at this point of the game. That means they're really counting on that offensive line, counting on the runners taking care of the What's football because you're going to tell your quarterback hey no time to be a hero we're not going to throw it here just eat up that clock and if you have the ball they can't score and i think this defense knew what was coming as he is smothered behind the line falcons going to use their third and final timeout that'll be their third and final stoppage here as we step aside You'd have to think likely another running play coming here, second and 11. Now it looks like he'll throw here. Got this into the hands of the tight end, Jordan. So back-to-back -back plays, each get nothing. And that's going to lead to a third and 11. So a nice throw there. And CD, I, I have to think you've been impressed with what you've seen thus far here in his debut. Now you know me well. I have been impressed because what I've seen is him starting to understand how to play the game in a short amount of time. The dazzling plays, they'll come and with experience. But right now, we go, we're seeing him we handle see the game, him. make all the smart plays, and the right reads. And 
Now the Texans will burn the first of their timeouts. That'll leave them with two remaining. We'll be back after this. And for the Falcons, five men in the secondary, now on third. A run between the tackles with Breda. And he can only get this to the 42-yard line. And that is not near enough. And once again, leverage wins. The offensive line, lower than the defensive front. They moved them and found some good space for the guy carrying the ball. So a big one coming here for Kaimi Fairbear. This to perhaps salt this one away. And he missed it. It's no good. And this will remain a one touchdown game. But things just got interesting. They tried for the long field goal there to salt this one away. They don't get it. And now a little time for the other guys to mount a late drive. Well, they thought their kicker would put it through the post and finish this one off. I'm sure they discussed pooch punting it and letting their defense take over. Well, the defense now has to make it stand up. But they didn't get the best field position because the ball comes back to the line of scrimmage. The drive starting play, a good one. Give him 19. Well, how about keeping your head about you in this situation? No more timeouts. Finds a way to get out of bounds. Now they can breathe a little bit as they contemplate what to do on the next down. From the 32 now, here's first and 10. Back to throw. And brought in by the tight end Cook. And they're going to move it down to inside go. the 25. They'll look to throw. This one left side caught by Patterson. And he's brought down inside the 20 at the 18-yard line. Six yards to pick up, and that's a first down. Looked like a pretty good, safe play right there. No, he's had trouble with the interceptions in this game there. Hits his guy out in the flat. Yeah, so many times we hear quarterbacks and offensive coordinators talk about in your progressions, you're either throwing the touchdown or you're throwing the check down. But earlier in the game, it was touchdown or interception. Now he got to the check down. A nice, safe throw and a good one. And they'll send the slot in motion left. Back to throw. To the sideline, and it's caught, but boy, he's out of bounds. Well, they try to get him into space, coming out of the backfield, but it'll be third down. Now we're in the situation where the quarterback's got to take full charge of his huddle. Got to totally command and make sure all eyes are on him. All focus is locked in. Going to call multiple plays and go over different situations and scenarios to make sure everyone is on the same page. Meanwhile, on third down, they take a shot at the end zone, but it's incomplete. And now time for one final play that has to be obviously in the end zone. Can't wait to see what they call, but you want to get it to your best player. Sometimes you have to do it by formation. Move everyone to one side, and maybe he gets a one-on-one -on -one isolated on the backside. One final shot. They'll look to throw. On oh, a huge mistake late. It's intercepted. And the Texans are going to hang on. On the final play, they get the turnover to seal this football game. 
But Charles, a heartbreaking way to lose this game. They got into position for that final play, had a decent look toward the end zone, but ultimately picked off, and that's your ball game. Yeah, they gave themselves a great opportunity, didn't they? They'll replay that snap over and over, but sometimes you just have to give credit to the other side. Defense stood up in the final moment and came through with the interception. So for the Texans, it was a hard-fought game, and they'll exit 1-0 as they win by a touchdown. And they'll get another road test next week as they head to Jacksonville to take on the Jaguars. Meanwhile, for Atlanta, they go down to defeat here in the opener. And they'll look to get back on track next week as they travel up to Detroit to take on the Lions.